Hey friends, Amanda here, Bare Bones Living. Welcome back. And I was just going over my list of things that I have to do and I have going on. It is a rainy week where we are and so I can't be out working in the garden and doing things outside that I would like to get done. So it is definitely an inside week, which is good to have. But as most people and especially parents, the list of things that you need to get done tends to accumulate quickly. And I was trying to plan out my day and plan out my week and the list kept growing and growing and growing and I was just having a moment of reflection and as I was you know looking over this list and remembering oh I gotta do this oh I gotta do this and adding more to my list I started to get overwhelmed and I started I kept coming up with other things to add to my list and so I decided, okay, I need to take a pause and reflect on what I'm doing. And I think that we typically don't do that, especially for ourselves. We always, you know, I can only speak for myself, but I tend to just add more and more and more onto those lists. And I think it's important to stop and reflect. And during that, I realized you know, I'm, I'm putting too much on my plate. I'm putting too much stress on myself and that's not helping anybody. And when you're overstressed, you don't get anything done. And so I wanted to take this moment and tell you to give yourself grace and to appreciate yourself like I'm trying to do right now. And recently I shared um, a Facebook memory from five years ago and it really it meant something to me that memory that five years ago uh, and that memory was when we got our first chickens Gretchen and Esmeralda Gretchen unfortunately passed when she was only a year old but we still have Esmeralda and they were our first two chickens, barred rock chickens that we got from Tractor Supply. Um, and then we subsequently got Ruby and Blanche, our Easter eggers, like two a week or two later. I think it was the following week. Um, and that is pretty much, that was our, that was our jumping off point. And that was five years ago. And just what we have accomplished and how much we've grown in the past five years and it started with just two chickens or two chicks and it has ignited just this whole new lifestyle for us and I started reflecting on myself and I'm like wow look at how much I've learned in five years look at how much I've done in five years and if you're new here um, you may have heard that we moved our family. We currently live in Tennessee and we moved our young family from the suburbs of Chicago um, in July of 22. Um, and so this is all very, this homesteading is not new to us because like I said, we, we have been planning this for a long time and we have been planning it for over five years because five years ago it was just a couple weeks ago that I shared that memory is when we started actually started our journey and dipped our toes in with those chicks and so we had been planning up until that point and then those plans evolved and everything grew but in those five years, I have grown skills in the kitchen. I've grown skills in gardening. I've grown skills in construction, in agriculture, in my own 
personal beliefs. Um, I've, you know, expanded our family. We've moved our family to pursue these dreams. And most recent, you know, we're, we're now growing our own meat with these pigs. We, last year we butchered our own homegrown pork, which was a huge accomplishment for us. We've never done anything like that. And we did it. We raised them from babies, eight weeks old, and we butchered them ourselves and we processed them ourselves. And I'm still processing them today. Like I said, I'm getting ready for a big processing day and I'm still working on that meat. But I'm doing it all myself. Also, you know, like I've found a local friend of mine that I've entered into a herd share with. Uh, so I, now I have raw milk and I'm learning to make butter and I've been making my own bread and these are, you know, making my own mayonnaise. All these things that are really important skills that I have built up in the past five years, most of it's in the past two years, um, or really we, this is, this is now going on our second year, um, in October we'll have been in this house for two years. So we're at a year and a half on this homestead and just in this year and a half, our, my skills and my knowledge has blossomed. We're about to be for the very first time raising our own babies. We've never had anything born on this farm. And in, let me check, six days, we're gonna have turkey eggs that are, hopefully, God willing, because we've never done this before, we're gonna have turkey eggs hatching. And then seven days after, or eight days after that, Penny, our, uh, one of our female turkeys, she's been incubating eggs. So seven or eight days after these, these ones hatch, hers should be hatching. So the, our first baby's born on our farm. And that's super exciting and so much growth. And, you know, in the moment it's really cool but when you think about the magnitude of what is happening and you, or at least me, I don't, I don't often appreciate the magnitude of how different our lives are, how much I've grown, how much I've learned, how much I'm executing in myself because I'm always making that list. Things, more things and more things and more things to check off and it's important to reel it in and go, wow, bravo. And I'm gonna pat myself on the back and tell myself, good job, because I don't do that enough. I'm sure you don't do that enough. And I'm gonna tell myself, good job, mama. You're doing, you're doing what you wanna do for your family. You're getting the skills that you want and you're doing it, so good job. And I wanna, tell you that I am here to tell you, good job, you're doing it. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing a good job. You're doing the things that you can, where you can. I did a lot in our suburban homestead. If you go back and check my old videos and stuff like that, we learned a lot in our suburban house. And yeah, our skills have probably quadrupled since we've been on this homestead but we still I still learned a lot in my suburban life so it doesn't matter where you're at give yourself grace give yourself praise for all the things that you do do and all the things that you plan to do but Definitely appreciate the here and now and the things that you have done. I'm here to cheerlead you to I am behind you. I know you can do it. You're doing a great job. 
So that is all I have to say on, on that matter. I was just getting ahead of myself in the day and I was feeling, I know that I have a bunch that I have to do today and I don't want that to be done in like a clouded headspace or a hurried headspace. I want to enjoy this because I love what I'm doing and that's why I'm doing it. And I don't want to do it because I have to check that off. I want to do it because it makes me happy and it's what I want to do. And I know how good this food is that I'm giving my family. And I want you to feel the same. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.